Let's do it to it. Grammar that is. Hello again, Flummies. I know, it's been a while. We need to stop meeting like this. So between this video and the last one, a lot of work has been going on behind the scenes. I have been planning other videos. I have, how many is this? Like 15 more videos planned. So hopefully we'll get those uploaded on a regular basis. Um, I also have been making a lot of headway on my book, like a lot of headway, a lot. And it comes with exciting news. So stick around to the end of this video to find out what that is. But for now, we are going to be learning windmills. And uh, they look like that. That's a windmill. I'm gonna go over there. Scoot, little chair. So windmills look like that. So the motion for windmills is actually very similar to the two beat weave that we've learned before. It's just going around your head as opposed to your sides. Another key difference is when you do the windmills, your hands are going in the same direction, which means if your thumb is leading, it's going to be your thumb in front the entire time. However, if your thumb is leading on your right hand, like this going in that direction, your other hand is actually going to be pinky led, like this in that direction. This way they're going the same way. That's what makes it a windmill. So you can practice one at a time, just make sure you know which way you're going. So for example, I can go to the right and practice that with that hand and then make sure that my other fan, what just fell out? And then when I go to do it with my other fan, I can make sure I'm going to the same direction, the right. So my pinky is leading with my right hand and my thumb is leading with my left. So right fan, left fan. And then you wanna to try to put them together. One, one, two, two. One, one, two, two. Just like that. Now there are two things you can do with your wrists while you're doing a windmill. You can have your wrists side to side like this. So you can see my wrists are about here. You can also have your wrists crossed, which is the same motion it's just that one arm is going to be in front of the other as opposed to having them both next to each other. Both of these are acceptable, both are correct. Pick your favorite experiment with both. And again, as always with these nice big flashy tricks, keep a loose grip. You always wanna make sure that you're not grabbing your fans and keeping the motion super stiff. Let them go, let them hang on the tips of your fingers, just like this and that'll keep a nice fluid motion. Now it is normal for new spinners to have their fans be flat over their head at first, as opposed to being way down here. It's normal, that's just something else that you're gonna have to drill out. You're just gonna have to drill it out until you get used to this kind of, to this. Cause believe it or not, this is not something you naturally do on a daily basis. Or maybe it is, I don't know your life. But this has never been my life before fans. And you do wanna make sure your palms are facing behind you the entire time. So when the fans are in front of your head, your palms are facing your face. And then when they're behind your head, they're facing away from you, they're facing behind you. And of course you can practice with just your hands if you're not comfortable swinging your fans super close to your face yet. Totally understandable. And another way to practice if anyone here does belly dance is the lotus hands. So you can bring one hand down and then the other up and they're just gonna switch positions and come back to the middle. Again, up, switch, back. And just keep that motion going. And now eliminate this pause in the middle. You've got a nice fluid motion 
No, it's so pretty. And then you can bring it above your head. Bring your wrists apart if you want to. Again, totally optional. That. Another thing that I've seen done is people will do like a corkscrew where your fans are flat above your head and mostly flat in the floor plane in front of you. And what they'll do is they'll kind of bend themselves into it and then lift everything up, including the fans. And then you kind of get this windmill motion. I have also seen people advise against that only because sometimes with a corkscrew, you know, your brain just kind of gets confused when you shift it to a windmill. So a corkscrew needs to be flat a majority of the time. Meanwhile, a windmill goes in the wheel plane. Wall plane, wall plane, this is the wall plane. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it would be easy for, especially for new spinners, to do a corkscrew like this and think that they're getting a windmill when they're not. A windmill is directly in front and directly behind you. So you can use the kind of corkscrew motion to get used to it, but you wanna make sure that you are getting directly behind your head and then directly in front of it. And of course, you always wanna practice in both directions. No, if I can like not mess it up. <laughs> if you're still having trouble with that, try to do them a little further apart at the same time, like this. This is actually how I learned. Um, I think this is called chasing the sun, but I think to be chasing the sun, like one has to be directly in front and behind your head. But the way I'm doing it is more around the shoulders. Either way, I mean, that looks pretty cool too. So you start like this and then bring them closer together and then just split them up. Yay, windmills! Here. Excuse you. Now when I do these, I like to go into a nice big cycle. Make it like a fancy little anti spin. Here. That was fun. Oh hey. Editing Danny here. Somehow the audio on my closing thoughts got totally messed up and it was like a three or four second lag between video and sound. I just could not live with it. So let's try this again. <laughs> Troubleshooting. The biggest problem that I see with windmills is again that behind the head position. This awkward. This. You will get the hang of it. It's helpful if you have um, a mirror, even if you practice like in a bathroom mirror or a vanity mirror, you don't even need like a full body one. You just gotta like see the fans in front and behind you. But now onto the exciting news. TFC Lost Pup, the book that I've been working on, is almost done with the editing process. Almost. I still have to order a proof copy and completely proofread that. I've also made an event out of it where we're going to look at the book cover, which is supposed to look like this. That is my official cover. Cover reveal, yeah. And we're also going to be reading a couple of non-spoilery excerpts from the book. The parts that we read will be PG, I promise. I know I said that there's a lot of adult content in my book, but we'll keep it, we will keep it family friendly because I will have my kiddo with me so you can have your kiddo with you, uh, invite your friends, etc. so forth. I also have a little sneak peek available. You can read a snippet of The Fool Circus Lost Pup up here. All right, moment of honesty. My camera likes to mirror my videos and sometimes I switch it back. Sometimes I don't. You'll never know which one is really my right hand, but that's what happens. It'll be up here somewhere, somewhere along this top area section thing. And I'm also working on getting better at the regular uploading thing. Uh, like I said before, I have a bunch of ideas for other videos set up. I've got some other outlines done. So fingers crossed, we're gonna try to get better at this. I'm gonna try to see you guys next week. Fingers crossed. Okay, those of you from the future, let me know how I did. 
So definitely subscribe, hit the little bell if you're new or lurking. Hi! I mostly do fan tutorials on my channel, but I have done Kane a couple times, and eventually I will be throwing in some other props just for fun. If you have any questions about windmills or about fans in general, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And also let me know, are you looking forward to reading TFC? And also let me know if you read the sneak peek to TFC and what you think of it. But anyways, that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful flow journey and I will see you next video. Bye.